stage one. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. On the call of go, athletes will follow the marked path. Time stops when the athlete crosses the start finish line and announces their athlete number. Stage two, it's fine, everything is fine. Athletes will begin on the start finish line facing downrange. On the call of go, athletes will perform the first set of rope climbs. Once complete, they will move to the firing line and perform firing sequence one. After the completion of firing sequence one, they will complete the second set of rope climbs. They will then move to a single arm farmer's carry along the marked course. The carry does not need to be performed by the same hand for the entire course. However, it must only be carried by a single hand. Every time the athlete switches hands, the axle must touch the ground. Once athletes have reached the rig, they will perform another set of rope climbs. Once rope climbs have been completed, they will move to the firing line and perform firing sequence number two. After firing sequence two has been completed, they will proceed back to the rope rig and perform another set of rope climbs. After completion of the rope climbs, they will move back to the farmer's carry handlebar and move along the marked course again. Once complete, they will perform another set of rope climbs and move to the firing line for firing sequence number three. After completion of firing sequence number three, Athletes will perform the final set of rope climbs. Time stops when the athlete touches the start finish line. Stage three, get over it. On the call of go, athletes will stress carry their sandbag around the pavilion and back to the yoke. Once reached, athletes will perform five bags over the yoke with the athlete following the bag over the yoke each time. The movement is complete once the athlete and the bag have touched the ground on the opposite side from where it began. After the fifth rep is complete, Athletes will leave the bag at the yoke and proceed to the firing line for firing sequence number one. This process will be repeated for rounds two, three, and four. Time stops when the athlete returns to the start finish line.
Stage four, K. On the call of go, athletes will sprint to their sleds with their rifles slung. Once reached, they will load the sleds and begin moving them to the first firing position. Rifles will be shot from the first firing position. All magazines must be retained. Athletes will grab their sleds and move them to the second firing position where pistols will be shot. All pistol magazines must be retained. Athletes will continue down the marked course to the starting position. Once reached, they may remove bags as dictated by the stage brief. This process will be completed for two more rounds. Time stops when the athlete returns the sled to the start finish line. Stage five, per my last email. This is a three-part stage. Part one, on the call of go, athletes will perform five bag throws over the bar. A point will be earned for each successful bag throw. Once complete, athletes will carry their bag to the firing line and complete firing sequence number one. This process will be repeated for rounds two through four. If the athlete completes the course of fire and all bag throws prior to the 10 minute mark, additional points may be earned for each successful bag throw over the bar. There will be a two minute rest and reset period between parts one and two. Part two, athletes will have nine minutes to complete part two. In this section, they will grab the appropriate weight for their division and begin by tossing the bag over the throw line. Feet may not cross the line during the course of the throw and the bag must completely clear the opposite line. The athletes will then grab the bag and proceed under the parallel. They will move the, to the next parallel and perform the bag over, body over the parallel. After completion, they will return back under that same parallel. A point will be earned for each successful time an athlete and the bag moves under or over the parallel, and one point will be earned for each successful throw across the throw zone. Part three. Part three begins immediately after completion of the nine minutes from part two. Athletes will complete shuttle runs in the remaining time. A point will be earned for each successful down and back. An athlete's hand. Stage six, burpees and bullets. Athletes will begin heels touching the start finish line. On the call of go, Athletes will begin earning a single rifle round for every hand release burpee over the yoke completed. A point will be earned for every burpee completed and for every scored hit. There is a minimum of three rounds and a maximum of 10 rounds that can be earned in a single iteration. After the rifle rounds have been earned, the athlete will move towards the firing line and perform the first firing sequence. Once all rounds have been exhausted, they will return to the yoke and begin earning pistol rounds. This sequence will repeat until all rifle and all pistol rounds have been earned and exhausted. Once all the rounds have been exhausted, additional points may be earned for additional hand release burpees over the bar. A rep is complete once the hand release burpee is completed and both feet touch the ground on the opposite side of the yoke. Stage seven, TAC two gun. Athletes will start with their rifle loaded in the Atlas APC. On signal, athletes will engage six rifle steel circles from left to right. 
athletes must then drop their rifle magazine before engaging the square steel. Athletes will then dump their rifle in the dump barrel and proceed to the marked pistol area. Athletes may not load their pistol until they have navigated the red charge line. 